accolades. What does that what does that do for you heading into another game of the week? Uh, just a testament of my hard work I put in. Um, really focused on a lot of the little details the past couple of weeks and just the plays that I missed throughout the whole season, I just I made them this week. So I'm just excited about that. Um, it was a very fun game. So. What's the difference between the plays you missed and the plays that you made? What were you doing differently? Do sometimes it could just be luck. You know what I'm saying? About timing sometimes. Uh, we always joke. Um, in the DM room that we probably lead the country in, in almost sacks. Uh, we missed a couple done this year, and uh, against Pitt, we made those plays. Um, so I was just really excited about that, especially for guys like Den Hoff and uh, Jaheim getting their first sack. So. Is there something you were seeing in a matchup that just led you to believe that this is going to be sort of your career day? No. I, just, I knew going into the game um, that it would be a good matchup on both sides. Um, coming into the first half, obviously I didn't record a stat, and then that kind of boosted me up a little bit going into the second half. Like I got to pick it up. Like I know I'm better than this. So uh, I had a full reset and came out the second half firing. Um, and I just felt myself getting hotter and hotter every play. So I just kept going. Tackle that you were going up against. He started complaining to the officials kind of early in the second half. But do you ever have a moment where you're like, I don't think this guy's going to block me the rest of the day? Do you ever have that, that kind of? moment pop in your head where you're like, this is going to be good. Yeah, I, I definitely do it, and I let them know that, too. You know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's a bad day when, when I when I get the trash talking on the field because I don't stop. So it's like all every time I lined up against him in that second half, he's, you know what I'm saying, he's sighing and stuff like that, trying to talk to me, be friends, and I, I ain't trying to hear that. I'm just trying to play my game. So once I get in that mode and, and I, I keep going, it's like it's no stopping me. So. What's so, up? Uh, uh, we spoke to Peter Woods after the game, and he kind of asked about your day. He said nothing. You, you do, he said nothing. You do. You do surprise him. I just what are you these guys' relationship where like when he you could have a big day, you, he could have a big day. Just like business as usual for you guys. It's it's amazing. Uh, one thing about me, I, I love when the entirety of the D line has a great game, just because like the work we put in together all season, all off season, it's, it's been amazing. Um, just so. We can see Peter come back and have the game he did, and have guys like Peyton have a great game. Jaheim and also K did not have a great game. Like it was also it was so fun cheering each other on, encouraging each other, and, and joking like you know saying we'll see you at the quarterback and things like that. So it was always fun when the when the entire D line's having a blast and making plays. I have to ask, like, what was he saying to you? Like how's he, you know, commenting? And then what are you saying back to him? He's just like just being nice. You know what I'm saying? I just I ain't gonna say what we was talking about, but like he was just trying to have a casual conversation, try to throw me off a little bit. You know how it goes when it comes to trash talking. Um, but I wasn't trying. I was tuning all that out. I was just playing my game and saying what I had to say. So. So what's it like when you get in that zone? It's like quiet. You don't hear nothing. You see what you got. You see what you got to do, and it's like everything is just. Like you locked in. Like obviously you're locked in in the game, but when you really in the zone, it's like you hear nothing, and it's like a free flow. Like there's things you do um, that you know what I'm saying just kind of happens, and sometimes you can tell you know what you know what you did. Sometimes you don't. Um, it's just like a free flow, and that's it's like a free flow state that I kind of felt. So it was good. Is that kind of zone? Do you get in that zone when you're at practice, or is that just a game day Every thing? Day. Okay. Every day. Um, I treat practice like a game because then the game's easier. Um, that's Swinney's big message, too. Like, for us, our Tuesdays and Wednesdays are going to be harder than the game. And that's what, the way it should be, honestly, just because you don't want to have the game speed you up. You want to slow the game down. Um, and that's what has been big for me my sophomore year. The game has really slowed down for me. Um, I'm, I seen th I'm seeing things a lot faster, um, which I can attest to about my knowledge of the game. So. You didn't have any sacks in the first half, so all that was second half yes, production. It was. What, what was it like? To, were you close on any in the first half? You kind of just knew you were on the edge of I had. It was a couple I was close on. I tripped on I could have had a sack in the first quarter, but I tripped. I was mad at myself about that, but, you know, we ended up picking it up. Um, but, you know, that was that. So. What's the most sacks you ever had in the game going back to high school? Really? It was six or seven. It was against Oxford. In Alabama, yeah. It was my sophomore year in high school, I think. Yeah, six or seven, one of those. I got to fact check that, but yeah. They say practice makes happen, perfect practice makes perfect. And when you're talking about going through those reps during the middle of the week, what does that do for the game at the end of the week? 
It really just becomes uh, muscle memory. Um, Coach Luke, he told us one day during practice on a Monday, he was like, practice makes permanent. So what you do in practice is going to permanently what you're going to do in the game and things like that. So every rep, I try to treat it as if the game is on the line, whether that's fourth quarter, overtime, to win a national championship, to win a playoff game, to whatever it is, because at the end of the day, I want every rep that I take, no matter if it's practice, pre-practice, post-practice, or the game, I want it to be the same as best I can, just so I can execute what I got to do. Was it last year you took the flag downhill? No, I appreciate I guess just to go back to that, how did your family's against military background kind of shape you? Man, it, it's been, it was a blessing. Obviously, my dad was in the military for 11 years. He was in the Army. Um, it was a lot of order and discipline, um, which, I, which I loved. I feel like it, it helped me uh, for who I am today. Um, my dad has sacrificed a lot to, to be where we're at right now, and I love him to death. And like, he's always, <coughs> excuse me, he's always taught me how to be a better man than I am an athlete. Um, because your name, like it says in the Bible, your name will carry a lot, a lot longer than your ability to provide something for somebody will. So he's always uh, been there for me, teaching me the right ways and how to go about treating people with respect and, and loving people. Um, so I'm, I'm really appreciative of my dad. There's more ways to be instilled in discipline, like it would be something that you have to remind you. Um, just being like, just like, just be where I'm at. Obviously, you don't want to be you don't want to act older than you was as a kid, and you don't want to uh, just like little kid stuff, basically. I, I can't really go into detail. I mean, it was always good, you know, but, um, yeah. What about to be able to have done that, to have run the moment of running the flag down and everything? It was amazing. Uh, I got to represent my dad. Uh, obviously, he was in the game, so he got to see me play, um, live out my dream. So I know he was happy to see it, and my mom was super proud of, of watching it, too. Um, and I was just super happy to, to be the person to run down the flag and represent my dad, so. You run down that hill so many times. Um, what was that one like to, to be the first one, to be the one, that, to be down it solo, really? Um, what, what, how was that different? And, and can you kind of take us back to those feelings? It was like, it was amazing. Cause I got to wave the flag in front of everybody and see it and just, just know my dad was super proud of me and I, I'm proud of him. Um, that's the least I could do to show him that. Um, thanking him for his service um, and thanking everybody for their service, really. Um, I was just super excited about it. Um, and I was just thinking about like all the times my dad had to deploy and me as a kid, like missing him and him coming back home. And I was super excited. So like that was really going through my mind uh, when I was waving the flag down the hill. You're now ninth, tied for ninth nationally in sacks after that game. Do you have a a number that you wanted to hit before the season or, or now that you've kind of jumped up there, do you have a, a goal over these final games? My goal before the season was 10. I'm right there. Um, but now it's, it's just about really just winning, like dominating however I can, um, being the best leader I can just to get the win and win out in a dominating fashion. Um, that's what I'm looking forward to now. Like stats is great personally wise, but in reality, I, I just really want to win. I'm trying to get to the playoffs, I'm trying to lock in. So. Whatever we got to do to win, uh, no matter if my stats is five sacks or, or zero sacks, whatever I can do to affect the game, honestly, I'm happy with. How difficult is it to just lock in with all the distractions and all the implications of certain games? It's not hard at all. Um, at the end of the day, we're playing football. Um, that's what I came here to do. I came here to get education, came here to play football. So I'm doing what I love, so it's not hard for me to lock in. It don't matter who we play, we can play the number one team in the country, or we could play the last team in the country. I'm still going to lock in the same way because at any moment, it's college football. Anybody can get beat. So we got to take every opponent uh, with a grain of salt. Anybody else for TJ? Are you, a, you like every second you celebrate with the same dance or a different dance? I wonder if you have four in a game, like you run out a, a unique one to do, or like you come in with a bunch of different things, or does it kind of just happen? You know, on Thursdays is when we really practice our celebrations. But when you really get in the game, sometimes you remember, like, Barry had to remind me, like, you got to celebrate. I was, and, like, in that moment, I realized, like, I ain't celebrating for not one of these sacks. Uh, so going forward, you'll, you'll definitely see me celebrate more. Um, sometimes in the moment, like, you just, like, you do whatever in the moment you're feeling. Um, but sometimes you got to realize we got to have fun with it. So Barry, he does a good job of reminding me you got to celebrate more. So um, you'll definitely see some crazy celebrations coming up. 
I know you uh, you cook. Uh, you like to cook. Uh, with Thanksgiving coming up, do you have anything special in mind that you're doing for you and your your family for the uh, for the holiday? That's the good question. You know what I'm saying? Look, <laughs> my family be down here next Wednesday, man. We start them oxtails on Wednesday. Let them let them cook for a couple hours. Um, we obviously gonna have fried turkey, smoked ham, collard greens. Yeah, we're gonna have a big old feast. Um, and then we'll have like my family, Peter's family, beer, um, my girl's family. Uh, so we'll, we'll have a lot of people there. We're gonna have a good time, and we're gonna have a lot of good food. Um, I ain't gonna do too much cooking. Um, I'm gonna let my dad handle all that. You know, so I'm just sit back and eat. It's my my time off, so I'm just gonna enjoy it. And what else, TJ? All right, TJ. Thank you, man. Thank, Thank you, guys. Time.